is uh, the team from Astronaut. So, uh, Nigel, would you like to, to share your, your video? And uh, Vincent can come on anytime you're you're ready. Uh, <clears throat> hi, Vincent. Hello, John. And Nigel. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> quick, very quick introduction. So, uh, astronaut, you're a, a startup based in Indonesia. Uh, you're changing the way hiring is is done, and. I don't know if you designed it this way or you just discovered that APIs were a good way of extending your reach, but I will leave you to explain that. Fantastic. Thanks, John. Just going to share my screen now. There we go. Um, uh, actually, two seconds. Right, there we go. Okay. And almost there. Okay. Is screen sharing working? No, not yet. Not yet. Not Chrome tab. Let's here, click over there. Okay, I think we are. We are good to go. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see your screen now. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, over to you. Well, thanks, John. All right. Sorry about that little hiccup there, everybody. Um, it's great to be here today. Um, and uh, yeah, John's exactly right. We are a startup based in um, in Indonesia. Um, we are spread over a few cities now as everybody is, um, uh, well, not everybody is working from home, but a lot of people are. Uh, and um, when we started the business five years ago, um, you know, uh, we weren't thinking that we were going to be an API company, uh, but um, it's becoming very important to us. So we're really happy to be able to, to be here and share our story um, with you today of our journey so far in productizing our API for asynchronous video interviewing. Um, uh, you can go to our website and, and you'll be able to see that we are, we do look and feel like a, a self-service SaaS product. Um, um, you can create a free account, um, but we are at a stage at the moment where we are honing in on a couple of different target markets. So we do focus on SME, but we also actually, uh, for the majority of our clients, focus on large enterprises. Uh, um, as I mentioned, the team is, is, is an, in, we are an Indonesian startup. Um, uh, Manfred and myself started the business um, um, uh, five years ago, uh, and, uh, and and Vincent, who's joining me here today, uh, uh, who you'll see in a second, um, has been with us almost uh, from the beginning. Um, um, Ari is, uh, is is based in Bandung and um, and uh, is is our most senior uh, developer. Uh, and uh, Gwendol actually sits in Singapore, and he joined recently to help us uh, scale the business. Uh, we are a team. Of, uh, of around 18 people at the moment. Uh, as I mentioned, Vincent um, is, is joining us today. Um, he's the perfect person to be able to present and talk about our API. Uh, he has lived and breathed all of the work that we have done um, with our API uh, um, um, uh, since we uh, experimented with having um, an integratable element to our platform. So really happy that Vincent's here with us today. Uh, um, I'll set the context about our business by talking first about um, you know, our core product um, and our core market. We are um, a you know a HR tech product. Um, um, I, I hesitate to say we are a HR tech product because we do have other use cases, um, but the bucket that we can be thrown into most accurately is HR tech, and we are a SaaS product. Um, we are a little bit like a survey platform um, um, with different types of questions. Uh, our clients are small and large enterprises. They create different questions or what we call Q&A sessions, uh, and then they invite candidates to answer those questions. It's quick, it's simple, it's got asynchronous video at the core as one of the question types. Um, and, uh, and, and obviously asynchronous video is different to live, you know, asynchronous video allows you to just capture lots of uh, videos of um, candidates answering questions at scale. It's very powerful uh, and very useful, and that's the core of our API. Uh, but we also have multiple choice questions, and we also have essay questions. They can be bundled together into a singular candidate experience, and 
our clients keep those experiences short so they can get as much information out of candidates quickly and easily and conveniently for candidates because we essentially compete and replace the use of CVs and we compete with and replace the need to do phone screening and often we compete with and replace the need to do first round live video calls or uh, face-to-face interviews. So by, by getting all this information very quick, it allows companies to shortlist it very fast. Of course, as part of our product, there is a management dashboard uh, where uh, all of the sorting, filtering, rating, uh, and sharing of candidate information can be done. Um, we are mobile first. Um, our first candidate interface that we released you know, uh, uh, you know, way back was, um, was Android. Then we added iOS and then we added web. So we, we do cover all, um, all, uh, all interfaces on the candidate side. On uh, the recruiter and corporate side, uh, we are web, um, uh, mainly web, um, desktop web, uh, but we also have an iOS app for the recruiters to be able to see um, videos as well. Now let's get to uh, let's get to the theme of today, which is you know, why did we why did we productize our API? Well, um, um, we have a great set. We're just getting started, really, as a business, but we already have you know a great set of clients that um, that we st- have stuck with us as we've grown the business, which is fantastic. However, as many of you will know who've touched uh, HR tech products, um, companies want their HR tech tools to be integrated. Uh, uh, for different reasons. Um, you know, having a single source of data is often the main one. Also having a unified candidate experience is another reason to, to integrate. Um, and, and that's what we had started to do. Um, um, but we realized there was actually much more value and a much bigger opportunity for us uh, um, uh, if we productized our API. Uh, and, uh, and, and why was that? Well, because in the world of HR uh, tech, um, there are literally thousands of jobs boards and hundreds of applicant tracking systems around the world. And because they are now wanting to add more value to their users, um, they are looking, uh, a lot of them already, uh, to to want to have new features. Uh, And one of those features that they are looking for is an asynchronous video Q&A feature, either white labeled or, or, or gray labeled into their platform. Uh, and they can monetize that. So there's opportunities for us to monetize uh, jointly our API um, across the globe. Uh, And that's really uh, just a huge opportunity that we just couldn't ignore. Um, We already integrate with with a number of players. Um, You know, Pulsify uh, is based in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. Um, Urban Hire is based in Indonesia. Impress is based in Singapore. Uh, and, uh, and, and what I described in terms of using our API, that's how they use our API. When they go to market, uh, they felt they needed a asynchronous video or their clients wanted an asynchronous video feature embedded into their interfaces. And so we were able to provide that. Um, so we're very thankful um, to, to, to have these organizations as our um, core early users for our API. And uh, you know, we are ready to, to scale. Uh, our documents are, are there, but we, we won't go into that um, at this stage. Um, um, and, and, and this is where I hand over to Vincent. But before I do, um, I, uh, I want to um, explain what you're about to see. Um, yesterday, we set up a, a quick demonstration of how somebody might want to use our web SDK. Uh, and the use case that we thought might, which might be fun was if the API Days organizers wanted to have a speaker and attendees video competition, how could they use the astronaut web sdk to set that up um, to be fast and fun and so now i'm going to hand over to vincent uh, who's going to do a uh, a demo to explain how that works over to you vincent yeah thank you naja can you hear me can you hear me okay cool um so uh, so this is the scenario for this demo. Uh, imagine if the organizer from the API Days event wanted to run a, like a competition for all the attendees and speakers to answer questions about why are you excited about the API Days event. And whoever gives uh, the best answer, let's say, uh, win a prize. And for our demo session, this is the page where attendees and speakers can answer their questions. 
Uh, this page is already integrated using Astronaut Web uh, SDK service. Uh, it's really easy to set up. If you know the right settings, the right steps, um, you can probably get it done less than an hour. Um, I, I set it up yesterday, it only took me uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> so you can put uh, Astronaut Q&A technology into your platform easily. Um, but I already did it for this demo. Uh, so I created a Q&A and I already created a Q&A session code for this demo too. And also, um, when I set up this page, um, yep, this is the only chunk of code uh, that I need to put in the demo file to run the astronaut Q&A. And also, um, so this is our developer page. We have this page if you want to try to generate those two lines of code. Um, as, as you can see, this is the Q&A uh, session code. Um, uh, we can set it up in the Astronaut Recruiter dashboard or using the server as a server, our server as a service integration code. So to make it more relevant, um, so this is the file that generate, uh, yeah, this page. As you can see here, I only put these two lines of code. So it can generate the astronaut Q&A page here, this Q&A technology here. So um, since I'm a speaker so uh, and I'm up for the competition, I will register myself, uh, name and my email, uh, code, it's new. and wait for the loading screen. And there you go. Um, you can see me on the two, two screen, right? So yeah, this is the, um, this is the Q&A session. Um, if you want to go for it, just click start. And, um, and so this is the questions. Please introduce yourself and explain why you're attending the API Days to Clara. Yes. Yeah, okay, three, two, one. Hello, my name is Vincent. I am a speaker in this event. Um, and I'm attending this API Days to Clara because I'm so excited. This is actually my first time being a speaker. And um, that's all. Uh, after that, I can click finished, and you can retake if you want. You can play 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 uh, to play the videos again, or you can click done if, if you already satisfied with your answers, and uh, you can click continues, and we wait for the verifying videos. Next, and that's all. And we also uh, already prepare uh, a page where. Like for example, the event organizer can see all the videos for all the for, from all attendees and speakers. Um, so yeah, they, they can easily see the result. Um, it is as simple it is to integrate with our platform. So um, as, and as you can see also, uh, it can be applied to many other environment, our situation, and our condition. And so if you're interested uh, to use our platform, our service, you can give us a call. Um, that's it for me. Um, back to you, Nigel. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Vincent. That was fantastic. Let me come back and pick it up. Great. So as as you guys could see there, um, um, uh, setting up our uh, API using the uh, two lines of code that can be generated from our um, documents um, is very quick and easy. Um, um, however, we're really just getting started uh, with this. Um, as you noticed, it loaded a bit slow. Um, um, hey, but we're a startup and we have a long way to go. So um, you know, we are very proud by what we've achieved already, um, but uh, we're very, very excited for the next phase uh, of where we can take this. Um, why are we excited about it? Because as I mentioned before, um, you know, it's a very clear, um, uh, uh, it's very clear in the market that there's lots of use cases 
um, uh, not just in HR tech. And on the next slide, we'll, we'll get into the, some of those use cases. Uh, but, but because there's so many use cases, uh, potentially, some of them we've already validated, uh, we need to think about how do we make this thing scale, right? How do we get it to market quickly and easily? And of course, making it self-serve as much as possible um, is, is really critical. So we're in the process of making our documents um, as self-serve as possible. Um, that includes having standardized pricing, of course. Um, and then we also need to think about how do we promote and bring attention to uh, our API. Um, we're still working out the details of how we do this, but we are feeling that, that hackathons and competitions are probably going to be the best way to do that. Um, uh, and as I mentioned, um, um, uh, there are many, many use cases. So finding early partners for those different use cases, which will be on the next slide, is really, really important part of what's next as well. So let's dig into some of these uh, use cases. Um, uh, and, and to be clear, we are seeking co-creation partners uh, for these different use cases. A co-creation partner might be someone who wants to create a new startup built on top of our platform, um, or they might be an existing platform that wants to have an asynchronous video uh, feature. Um, so we would love to hear from um, um, teams out there that are looking to have asynchronous video in their platform, and they don't want the hassle of having to build it themselves. Um, we'd love to talk to them. So. These are just some of the use cases that uh, that we've already identified and partly uh, discovered or played around with internally. Employee engagement is one that we think is really interesting uh, where teams can answer video questions and the rest of the team can view those and comment on them. Uh, we think there's a really interesting uh, use case in employee engagement. Uh, also possibly integrating into other like Pulse Survey or HR tech platforms uh, that already offer employee engagement, but don't have an asynchronous video feature to add more social, real life um, engagement opportunities. Um, um, the second one is online learning. Uh, class engagement, uh, so classes, being able to, uh, to see videos from their other class members, particularly when they're all um, uh, uh, studying from home um, is another clear area, uh, which actually has already been validated very strongly by uh, a platform called Flipgrid um, in, uh, that was acquired by Microsoft. Uh, the third is the testing assessment and certification market. Our SaaS platform and to a degree PASS is already entering this space uh, for um, certification um, of skills. Um, and so that's a big area uh, that, uh, that we are seeking more partners to play in. Uh, the fourth one there is medical consultations. Now this came to us um, as a idea uh, from one of our freelance designers. Um, you know, he said, hey Nigel, I had to go to the doctor um, and uh, I, I attended the, uh, you know, the, 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 um, the clinic and I couldn't even see the doctor. They, they made me do a live video call uh, even though I was in, you know, this is because of COVID-19, they made me do a live video call with the doctor. I think we can use Astronaut to do medical consultation. So we uh, we have found there are other platforms around the world using in the med tech space, using asynchronous video. And so you know, we are interested in partnering with platforms in that space. Seed and angel investors using video screening is actually a use case that we've already monetized. Uh, but we haven't pursued that uh, at this stage as a, a core strategy. But uh, we got great feedback from the users of that, the investors that were using the, the platform. Uh, and uh, the, there is possibilities to integrate into platforms such as um, the, uh, the, uh, the crowdfunding platforms uh, that, uh, that, that uh, do want quicker, faster ways to have the, uh, the investors get to know the founders. Uh, uh, market research and feedback is another use case. Uh, um, we already have uh, had initial talks with a uh, with couple of the, the global market research firms. Um, but as you can see, with all of these use cases, we don't have the resources to do all of these. So finding partners to help us get into that space uh, to, to be the platform partner using our technology um, is, is much more preferred for us. Online competitions, as Vincent just demonstrated, uh, is another possible area. And then even dating, just as a, as a bit of a laugh. Um, but, but actually, there's probably a serious use case there in dating as well. So anywhere where people want to engage with um, other people uh, and either learn about them, engage with them, screen them, assess them, certify them, we feel there's a very strong opportunity for us to take our 
um, our, what we call our platform as a service uh, to market. Um, so that's it from us today uh, in terms of the presentation. We'd love to answer any questions you might have, and we'd certainly love to hear from you uh, if you are interested in any of those use cases or other use cases, um, um, we will dedicate our time and resources to, to work with you. Yep. Nigel, uh, Vincent, thanks very much. Uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed. You've gone from a software as a service company to an accidental AP as a product company. Um, but what uh, surprises me most is that um, I've seen a lot of presentations where the presenters have made a, a subtle sales pitch to the audience. I think this is the very first time I've ever seen a presenter make a sales pitch to the conference organiser um, with your API <laughs> uh, challenge. I'm, I'm impressed. So uh, I, I think there are some, some key points out of, out, of, um, out of this use case is that you've got... Um, particularly in this environment uh, with people who are distributed and, uh, and also crossing time zones, um, synchronous communications doesn't always make sense. So, um, and the, the range of, of possibilities that you can see just, I, I guess, um, justifies the effort to, to produce the, the API so that your, your partners can help you scale. So uh, yeah, thanks, thanks very much. Um, the um, I, we're, we're happy to take some some questions from the from the audience, or, or perhaps actually I'd be interested in seeing a little bit closer this API days uh, challenge. Could you just uh, share that one again, please? I'll take a look at it. On uh, you want to share my screen? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, just one. And yeah, this is uh, where all the attendees and uh, speakers can uh, register. Uh, but this is the the results page where you can see all the videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're going to have to take a closer look at this uh, offline, but uh, and you'll probably see it at a future API Days conference. Uh, thanks. <laughs> that will be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the thinking there, John, was um, uh, if executed well. Um, um, uh, particularly for events with large attendee numbers, um, um, getting videos prior to the, the event that can be used on social to promote the event and then videos after the event um, for promotional purposes as well um, 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 would be quite attractive. Um, it was just one idea. Um, really happy to, to talk with you guys if you think it would yeah. be useful. Yep. <laughs> All right. Great. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. So where um, I understand uh, you were um, in the same accelerator as our next speakers uh, from Brancus. Yeah. Um, uh, is it plug and play, was it? Yeah, in, that's right. Yeah, batch one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. I'm going to uh, I'm going to introduce uh, Mike from sure. Brancus now. All right. Have a great day, everybody. All right.